Hi little pickles, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of Bare Minerals. Really really love this brand. I never ever used to like it. I had really really bad skin and I used to think it's light coverage, it's not going to cover my face. I have textured skin, I have spots, I have redness. Today I'm going to show you how to get a nice flawless natural finish with Bare Minerals makeup. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I've zoomed you in a little bit closer just so you can see what I'm doing. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of redness around the T-zone on my forehead, on my chin. I've got quite a lot of spots around here. Unfortunately, that is what happens with my skin. My skin is a lot, lot better than what it used to be. And there are some steps that I've taken to help reduce the inflammation on my skin and maybe I will do a video on that for you if that's something that you're interested in then please let me know in the comment section down below I have a whole kind of routine um, a natural product routine that I've been using so if that's something that you want to see then just let me know but to begin with we are going to use the Bare Minerals Prep Step Moisture Set Radiant Prep Cream this is a really really nice balmy kind of moisturizer I don't feel like it clogs up my skin it's really really smooth and it just makes the bare minerals go on really, really nicely. Now I do find um, sometimes I mix it up and use a different moisturiser just depending on how my skin's feeling that day. Um, and I do find that any kind of moisturiser that sinks into the skin is really, really good for bare minerals products. Any kind of product that sits on the skin or a silicone or any kind of um, primer, sometimes I feel doesn't work great with bare minerals because it just kind of pushes it around on the surface whereas anything that kind of soaks in and just adds a nice moisture level to the skin is really really good for these powder products so once that's set in I normally let it sit for about five minutes now normally you do your foundation first and then your concealer now with the powder products I like to do the concealer first then the foundation and then if there's any extra areas that I feel need a little bit more coverage then I'll do the concealer again but because this sinks into the skin and you kind of want to build the layers, I feel that when you do the concealer first, it just helps it. So I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Concealer and this is in the shade Summer Bisque 2B. And all that you do with these products is you literally just tap them out into the lid. So you've got a little bit of product in the lid. And I'm going to take the Max Coverage Concealer Brush by Bare Minerals and swirl that brush into the product keep swirling and swirling and swirling until like the product is evenly distributed on the brush and then tap off any excess and then basically go into any areas where you've got any problems so for example around the nose I like to work in circles around that area I'm going to do actually maybe one side of my face just with the concealer just so you can see the difference so I'm just going to go down this side of the nose and you literally like this is just one time in this product and just keep swirling and blending. Already you can see that this is looking lighter than this side. I've just gone in again and this spot on the cheek here just blending around that any redness around it down under the lip like this spot here is disappearing. Already you can see this is blending in. Obviously we have to add the foundation over top and if there's any areas, like I said, that still look red or inflamed, we can go back over, but we're just building up the layers. Just in small circular motions. And under the eye, I like to kind of sweep it back and forth, just so we've got like an even coverage. And then look up and just blend into that crease and any dark areas. Now the moisturiser is really really good, I used to use Bare Minerals without a moisturiser underneath and it wasn't until I got the Bare Minerals moisturiser that I was like actually this makes a huge difference. Um, I used to just use it clean on just bare skin and I used to wonder why it would go patchy and just kind of not sit right but the moisturiser is just really really nice to help the product sink into the skin and I like to just pop a little bit of that concealer over my eyelid. Okay, so as you can see, that is literally just concealer. So this is the side with concealer, and this is the side without. It's not heavy coverage, it's just a really nice, subtle coverage. Now, obviously, this is going to need a little bit more coverage. This is that really, really bad spot that I've had for a couple of weeks um, that just won't go away. So I'm just going to do the other side, 
and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is both sides with the concealer. As you can see, it's not full coverage, but it's just looking really, really a lot calmer, a lot less red and clearer than it was a moment ago. Really debating on whether to do some Christmas videos yet. I mean, is it too early? Everywhere's gone crazy with Christmas and it's not even December yet. But is it a bit early? I'm gonna be doing them for like a whole month. Next, I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. This is in the shade Medium Beige N20. And again, just tap it out into the lid. And I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. Now, I do like the coverage of this brush, but the only issue I have with this brush is that it has a lot of fallout. Do you guys have this problem with this brush? I don't know whether it's just me because I've seen other people use this brush and it doesn't look like it has the fallout that mine has. Maybe I washed it too vigorously, I don't know, but all the hairs fall out of it. But I'm gonna give it a go and we will see how it works today. Because I kind of gave up on this brush a little while ago um, and I used a different, a different brush on my face. But today we're doing all bare minerals, so I wanna try and keep the brushes bare minerals as well. Anyway, regardless, so I've swelled in, I've tapped it off, and then we're just going to work in circular motions. I like to start just in the center of the face. Like on across my cheeks and my nose. And just build up in circular motions that product there first. And I love this foundation because it has a really, really nice dewy finish to it. It has a really nice, it's not a, sh it's not a glitter shimmer. It's just like a really soft shimmer. And it just makes your skin look so radiant. I do have the matte Bare Minerals as well. Um, but that one's in a darker shade. And that one I like to use as like a bronzer. But this has a, just a really, really nice glow to it. The secret to this product is to literally just keep working in circles. And just keep building it up. Blending it in. Now, for somebody who has problem skin, I don't think the coverage on this is bad at all. I think it's really, really pretty, really perfect for daytime. And Bare Minerals, as it is a mineral product, is really, really good for problem skin because it doesn't clog your pores. Um, and it just gives a really, really nice finish without looking too cakey. I've been having laser on the bottom half of my face um, for hairs on the bottom half of my face, which maybe I'll go into in another video, but it's a hormonal thing, blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna go into it now, but I've been having laser on my face and Bare Minerals um, and mineral makeup is what they recommend to use because it doesn't clog up your pores it doesn't if once your skin's sore from the laser it doesn't affect your skin so really really nice to use if you're having any kind of facial treatments okay so that is the finished look on the foundation now this spot again just needs a little bit more coverage maybe just see the fallout on this brush Maybe just a tiny little bit more around the nose, maybe just slightly under the eyes. So I'm just going to pop some more concealer on, just a tiny, tiny little bit. It looks like a bruise, this um, this spot. So it's quite difficult to cover up because it has like a darker undertone to it, like across my skin, because it's like bruised my face. One evil little spot. Next, I'm going to take the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. This is in the shade Medium Tan in C30. I'm going to take a little bit of that in the lid, just a tiny little bit. And with the Bare Minerals, this is the Soft Focus Face Brush, just like a nice little fluffy brush. I'm gonna take that foundation on this brush. So I'm gonna use this as like a contour around my face. And it's really, really nice because it has the same kind of consistency as the other foundation, obviously, apart from it's a matte. So it doesn't have that shimmer, but it just add a nice little bronze effect to the face. And again, just working in circular motions. I'm not doing like a harsh contour. I'm just adding a little bit of warmth to the face. With any extra on the brush, I'm just gonna go along the jawline up to where that contour is, just to warm up the edges, down the sides of the nose. It's just any extra on the brush, just to add a bit of warmth, just like that. So as you can see, it just gives like a nice soft finish on the face. Next, I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Glow Illuminator from the Chandel Light, Chandel Light, this is from the Chandel Light um, pack. So it's like a little set that you get. And this is in the shade Luminous Pink. I'll just quickly show you, it's kind of like a 
shimmery pink it is a cream but it dries down into a powder finish um, I don't have a bare minerals brush to use with this one but I'm just gonna use this is just literally just a flat brush you can use your fingers but as you guys know I have eczema hands and it just doesn't give a very nice finish so I'm just gonna use this brush I'm just gonna pat it in just so I've got a bit on the end of the brush and I'm just gonna pop that on the highlight points of my cheek this is a really really nice pink glow and I've been loving a pink glow recently I love gold finishes anyway but I just think a pink rosy glow just looks really really nice in autumn and winter so you can see it just gives like a really nice sheen to the cheeks I love this illuminator I only got this the other day and I'm already in love and finally I'm just going to take the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and this is literally just a hydrating mineral veil that you can pop on over the top of all your foundation. You can pop this on top of any foundation, it adds a really really nice finish. But this is just kind of like a soft shimmer just to hydrate the skin because obviously you're adding a lot of powder. Um, and this just makes your skin feel really really soft and light. The only problem with this, you have to be careful, is it's so finely milled that when you pop it on it like just gets everywhere it gets up your nose and your mouth you can see I don't know if you can see but I mean it is it's going everywhere and you literally just sweep it all over just gives a really really nice soft finish just be careful not to get it in your mouth okay so that is the face done I think it adds a really really nice soft coverage to the face but it is quite high coverage and you can build it up I mean it's not just for people that have already nice skin and just want to add a nice layer you can use this as everyday makeup make your spots or redness or imperfections just look calmer just look softer for the eyes I'm going to take the eyeshadow in morning glow and this is just like a really really nice kind of silvery beige white color I don't know if you can see that in the pan but it's just got a really really nice kind of gray peachy neutral undertone to it it is a shimmer but I am going to use it all over the eyelid and I'm gonna use it as kind of like my base color I take a little bit on the brush swirl it onto the lid and then tap off any excess and I'm going to pop that all over the eyelid and go up to the brow bone. I'm literally just going to use this as my base colour. I love eye looks like this where you just use like two colours and you're just like boom done. Then I'm going to take the eyeshadow in the shade Nightfall and this is just like a really beautiful aubergine shimmery brown. Just like a really really nice shimmery coppery aubergine brown. It's just beautiful this colour. And I'm going to pop this into the crease. Oh, I forgot to say, this is using the Soft Focus Eyeshadow Brush by Bare Minerals. Sorry. Got over excited. And with the same brush, I'm just going to take a little bit extra of the product. Tap off the excess. And I'm just going to concentrate on this outside corner. Just so I can build up the colour just on this outside. Just so it looks a bit darker on the outside corner. And then I'm just going to sweep that colour underneath the lower lash line and just using the soft focus face brush I'm just going to dust off in a straight line along the eye just in case there's any kind of fallout or anything like that they're normally pretty good at sticking to the skin so I don't really have that trouble even though it's a powder product I don't really feel like it falls all over your face next I'm going to take the Bare Minerals eyeliner this is the round the clock intense cream glide eyeliner this is meant to be waterproof and this is like a really, really nice aubergine brown colour. I love this colour. It's in the shade round the clock 5pm. I think that's the shade because there's no other shade on it. Um, I'm going to use that inside my waterline. And I'm just going to smudge that down onto the lower lash line as well. Just so it adds a bit more depth, a bit more intenseness to the eye. And then I'm just going to lightly line the upper lash line. Just a little bit along there. And then I'm just going to take the eyeshadow brush again. And I'm just going to blend in that upper eyeliner. Then I'm going to take the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara, Volumizing Mascara in Intense Black. Absolutely been loving this mascara. Has a really, really nice wand on it. It's kind of like a twisty, kind of helter skelter kind of shape. I'm just going to pop that on. 
but I think the volume on this is just beautiful. So that's the mascara done. Then just finally for the lips, I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals. This is the Pop of Passion in Blushing Passion. This is just a lip balm. Pop a little bit of that on. Just has a slight hint of color. Then I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream. This is um, in the shade Sassy Sorbet. This is a really, really nice, I love the applicator on this because it's tilted. I don't know why I love them when they're slanted back. I just find it so much easier to put on. It smells like strawberries. And that's it. That's the finished Bare Minerals look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you think that the coverage is more than what you expected from a Bare Minerals product. I certainly did. What are your guys' favourite Bare Minerals products? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please give this video a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if that's what you want to do. And I'll see you on the next video. Love you.